Hey hens, how we all diddly do and how's everybody holding up? Listen, I was just sat playing Fall Guys last night actually and Steph or Sims was on the call and then she went, oh, Jesse, have you seen story progression? And I had not. This swept upon me like the iceberg snuffle on the Titanic. Oh, you know, that would have been a lot funnier if I'd said that right. Hey, Hens, just to let you know that the Easter release for Lunar Isle is out. It's Slag for Jesus, which I thought was very appropriate because I am a slag. <laughs> and it also goes up from extra small to 5XL. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to buy it. Love yous. Anyway, so it's on the official EA website. I couldn't really tell from reading it whether it was out today or not. He had to cop them, but we'll soon find out. Hey, hey. Moving on. So the neighborhood stories system, we did have this kind of, but it's been updated. I'm back to update you on neighborhood stories. First, a quick refresher. I also think it's an absolutely great addition there. I fully agree with you, darling. Base game of packed with interesting moments that lead to all kinds of life change for individual Sims. However, the Sims living in the active household have the potential to experience so much more life change compared to their neighbor Sims. Last November, we rolled out a free update that added a set of life changes for neighbor Sims who have a personal connection to the active household. You can read all about that. Yep, today I'm excited to update you on new additions to neighborhood stories as we continue to build upon this feature over time. The first major addition is life changes for all neighbor sims with or without any relationships to the active household. The new neighborhood story system opens up interesting autonomous changes all over the world. Now neighbors that you do not know will adopt young sims in their household, love that, age between infant and children, become pregnant with their significant other and eventually deliver. Family oriented sims are more likely to do this while non-committal sims are less likely. So actually traits impact more than just the emotions am i taking up too much of the screen sorry is that better sorry <laughs> try to make it all about me it's the jesse story system they can adopt a dog or a cat join leave careers move in and out of lots die in different kinds of accidents and these are also configurable which actually sounds fucking amazing because one thing that i've always said throughout all of these updates is choice choice is like such a good thing and it helps appease so many people because some people don't like things to change at all i do i do i like the drama i just it's all the drama i could just fucking love it but now you can choose how neighborhood stories affect your game by default it is disabled which i think is is pretty valid you know what i mean can you imagine if you didn't keep up with the news and then suddenly <laughs> But the goth's pregnant with another kid, but it'll go missing and all. Thank God Sims can adopt. <laughs> and then there's household specific configurations. So you can let some houses have story progression and others not. And there's also a global enable and disable settings. And you can also check recent neighborhood stories. So this actually sounds genuinely really fucking fantastic. Ignore how unhinged I am. Actually, I think it's time for change. Wallop. Mm, he's a baby. <laughs> I love him. Shout out to my friend who rightfully called me out. But when you know, you know. And that was the right background for me <laughs> right we need to update the game beautiful god i don't even have my wedding stories installed on this one it's probably for the best oh it just makes me so sad actually i don't know if i'm gonna be able to handle having this as my background i it just feels so sad my sister said that she checked up with my tweets last night and she was shocked at how consistently unhinged i was and she, she said you really have to develop a new personality for every interest yes <sighs> You know you make me want to shout. <sighs> <coughs> Let's go. Sims 4. It is actually here. Your update. More life added. Learn more. No. Actually, I've learned enough. There's also new scenarios as well. Oh, there is quite a lot now. It's quite fun, honestly. Just going to load. Just going to load this random one. And we'll have a little dabble. We'll have a little bruise. So the same. We'll wet our whistle. <gasps> play with neighborhood stories. Neighborhood stories enables households who don't actively play to experience life changes. This includes pregnancy and adoption. Yeah, so this is my wrist rest for Fortnite. actually. <laughs> I'm a pro gamer. This includes pregnancy and adoption, moving in and out of houses, or maybe even untimely deaths due to accidents. Go to manage households to configure the system separately enable disable the feature of other households around town choose which types of life changes are allowed and even make custom settings for specific households to see the latest changes each day go to a mailbox enable neighborhood stories oh and you can like just fully this is fantastic actually like i like that it's got this amount of customizability this is really good this is really good i wonder as well if they'd add like more things in future updates for like packs and i don't know I don't know, but I really like what they've done with like the ability to choose. Cause some people get really sad when the Sims die and like, not me. I d honestly, like, I do not get attached. Honestly, when my Sims die, I'm like, well, that's a little bit drama I didn't expect, but I'll willingly let happen, do you know what I mean? Like, do I turn a blind eye when the stove catches fire? I do indeed, Your Honor, I do indeed. And that might be illegal, but I like it. But some people don't like it, do you know what I mean? So I'm glad that they can just untick that. Could never be me. More more fires, more accidents, more drama. Love that. And we can also, if we go into other households, 
like the Caliente, I am not allowing them to adopt a child. I do not trust Don with a child. I barely trust Don with himself. I also don't want him to have a baby. I would like him to die. Don't trust him with a pet. I don't want him to retire. I just want him to die or move out. Those are, those are my only two options. Oh, that's fucking fantastic that you can customize it for every single household as well. You know what? It feels really good to be so happy and excited about something. Like I genuinely think that they've done a really good job with this gameplay. Also, it's just that there. You can just reset the custom configurations. That I really like what they've added. Oh, bitch, do I have any constructive criticism to say? Honestly, I don't think I do. I really like what they've done with it. And I also like how the traits can impact it as well. I would like to see if they can like expand it potentially in the future. But I, th I think they've done a really good job with this. I should probably play through a day and like check to see if anything's actually happened. Because the Trojan horse, she looked good at first. <gasps> Shit, I remember what this house is. Right, just avert your eyes, babes. Avert your eyes. Do not worry what is going on here. I'm planning a video where I read every single book in The Sims 4 and we've got these left. <laughs> So just do not worry. Do not worry. I think I've not what's happened. Check back tomorrow. I will do, darling. You, you just don't even want to know how long it took me to do this. To read every single book. Do not worry about it. But I will present my findings in the next couple of months. No. Absolutely not near my prize book collection. Absolutely not. I can cope with fires, but not near these expensive books. This is every single book in the game. <gasps> Windenberg, the Bjergsen household recently adopted a baby. Beautiful. Anything else? The Fires household recently adopted a toddler. And that's it. Oh my God, that is so much fun. I love that. Oh, congrats to The Sims 4. But I'm sorry to this man. Right, so that is actually a very happy video. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm very pleased with it. Yeah, I'm genuinely, I'm so glad they went with the option of choice rather than just having it like all or nothing. Do you know what I mean? So happy with it. Let me know what you think as well, because obviously I'm very open to other opinions, but it feels good to feel good. Love yous. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bitch. <laughs>